Hey buddy, it's John. We're back here at the shop. Give you guys a little update on the trailer situation. A uh, couple things I wanna address real quick. Um, is a lot of people thought that the trailer was used, that it was a used trailer, uh, something that was rebuilt uh, or kind of repainted and stuff like that. I guarantee you it's not, a, it's not a rebuilt trailer. It's a brand new trailer for sure, 100%. Um, you can see here, uh, looking underneath it, the the rails or the the beams and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, it had some surface rust in some areas, but and we got all brand new hoses and wiring and axles and all that kind of stuff. Everything there is brand new. A um, couple other things. Um, some people said, "Oh, there's a Harley dog. She's a little bit bigger than last time. You guys may have seen her." But uh couple things too uh some people like oh it looks like the trailer is twisted how the trailer was sitting over there um it was twisted uh how this side of the trailer was kind of sitting in a hole made those ramps kind of lean like that i mean the trailer is going to have some kind of flex in it for sure but um so here's the here's what we decided to do with the trailer we are going to return it I, it's not really what I wanted to do, but it makes sense. I'm not happy with the trailer, so why keep something you're not happy with? Um, it's just gonna be trouble down the road, I know for sure. I asked several people about different welders, fabricators and stuff about, um, about changing this out to lower the deck down and nobody wanted to do it just because the liability of it and cutting something um, you know, they, they didn't want to be responsible for it. I don't, I don't blame them. I don't blame them at all. You know, I don't blame anybody, but I talked to the manufacturer. They are going to return it. Give me a hundred percent back my money. And, um, I got a guy coming tomorrow morning at 5 AM to pick it up. It's actually a customer of mine, uh, that we've done some work for. He drives truck now. So he's going to run up there in his truck, drop it off. And I'm just, I, I don't have time. Uh, I just don't have time to run it up there when it comes down to it. So the guys uh, washed it up, got it ready to go. I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of paint came off the deck there and right here where we came off and on. But I mean, it's fine. Um, I did pull the excavator on there to see how much it went down. Cause they told me that, you know, that seven inches we had talked about how the front is seven inches higher than the back. Um, they, the manufacturer said, some of that would come out or if not all of it it went down two inches <laughs> so at that point i was like I, I pulled the 130 on it i put the 130 on it to see what kind of flex it had in it so it went down two inches so we still have five more inches to go so i was like nope that's not gonna work for me um so you know i mean it's 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 what what i'm gonna do i'm not happy about it i waited five six months for this thing what you got, dog? What you got, huh? What you got? <laughs> I waited five or six months for this thing and then to get it here and not be happy with it. Um, so I'm back in the market. I have a couple quotes out on some other trailers, waiting to hear back from them. Uh, I appreciate everybody throwing down comments, you know, uh, check out this trailer, this trailer and stuff. But I think one of the things I'm going to have to sacrifice is the rub rails. Um, I'm gonna, I have an idea that might work for something without rub rails, but we'll see about the trailer I'm going to get. So what they usually do on a trailer that doesn't have a rub rail, this is like a C channel. I don't know if you can see it in here, but what it is, um, it's like this on this side. They turn it on the outside like, like this trailer here. See, it's like a C trailer. It's like a C right here. And um, then they put these D rings on. That's what a lot of manufacturers do is they put a, and then I talked them into letting me do that on this one, turn it the other way and put the rub rail on. But anyways, anyways. So um, I have an idea that might work for my D rings and for the other manufacturer that doesn't have one without D rings, but. We're working on that. Hopefully something will come up. Um, if anybody knows of a trailer very similar to this, 
um, with the top deck. There's a lot of trailers out there that don't have a a smooth deck. I don't mind the little ramp right here. I can handle the ramp, but a lot of them don't have a flat deck up here. It will be like this. It'll be like this trailer. This is why we upgraded to this style of trailer because this trailer over here doesn't have that top deck. We want this top deck up here, put bucket, grapple, cutter heads, put some boxes up there, you know, all that kind of stuff. That is why we, basically why we upgraded. Uh, one of the reasons that one, it needs a little bit of work. It's not terrible, but um, that is the biggest reason is we wanted that upper deck and a little bit more length. I mean, you can see the two trailer lengths are almost, almost the same. Looks like we got maybe a foot there and it's just a hair longer in the back yeah i mean it's only like a foot or two longer but um yeah so so she's she's going back tomorrow and uh but that this is kind of what i'm looking for sorry this is kind of what i'm looking for with this style with either a drive up or like the little ramps that go up there come to find out this trailer is actually built in the Kaufman factory. This is actually a Kaufman trailer. If I were to go to Kaufman and order it, this would be the exact same thing as a Kaufman. Very interesting. They, uh, this brand right here is made at the rampant, is made at the Kaufman, Kaufman factory. When I called Kaufman to get another price on a trailer to see if the price increased or anything like that, they sent me over. I was looking at it, I was like, that's the same trailer. <laughs> but whatever. Um, we're not going Kaufman. We're not going ramp it. We're we're looking at the one trailer I'm looking at right now. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go with this is the pits. It's a good trailer. I like it. Um, but if anybody else has any other comments, type of trailer, let me know. If you see anything out there like this used, I wouldn't even mind to use one. I can I can do that, but um yeah so like i said before you know i'm not trying to drag this name through the mud or anything like that but a lot of money for me a lot of time money saved up and i want to be happy and uh i appreciate everybody's support with me on this that you know that i think you know there's over almost 300 comments and half of them were take it back take it back take it back so listening to you guys telling me you know, i think that's the right call take it back and be happy with what i get so also i'm going to do i'm going to hook this thing and pull this truck out of the way might pull up a few feet and so he can come in and hook up in the morning but we are uh don't forget guys next week the show in louisville the um utility expo going to be at the FECOM booth first thing Wednesday morning and then we're going to be at the Hyundai booth uh, Thursday morning at 10. So looking forward to meeting everybody there. Uh, appreciate everyone's support helped me out through this this uh, trial with the trailer. But um, yeah leave your comments below and uh, stay tuned. We'll hope to see everybody at the show. Look, I'm really excited about this, getting kind of stuff, getting, uh, we got one job to do, one job Monday, Tuesday, and I'm going to be heading up Tuesday night. So looking forward to it. I'm going to get this thing hooked up and uh, we'll see you, see you when you see you. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one, y'all.
All right, there she goes. We out here at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. Meet the guy here with the paperwork. <sighs> Get this ready to go. Thanks again, y'all. Hope you guys enjoy the video. And uh, see you in Louisville. <laughs>